James Charles neutral palette, let's talk about it. What's going on everyone, it's Rich Lush with the hottest celebrity news and gossip. Okay, so today James Charles dropped a video where he is addressing his next palette is all about neutrals. Now, he did address a lot of criticism that he's gonna be getting. Let me show you the clip, here we go. I'm so excited to show you our first ever painted palette. This is the basic canvas. I've been working on this for years and I cannot whoa, wait to show you what's- Whoa, 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 a new palette? You said I was the only palette anyone would ever <sighs> need. Kinda shot myself in the foot with that one, but Times have changed a bit. <sighs> Tell me about it. I mean, yeah, like, I don't even say hi, hi sisters. sisters. <sighs> yeah, hi sisters anymore. <sighs> anyway, this palette has 24 beautiful shades, perfect for any Boring. glam Boring, I had 39. Well, not everyone wants to do colorful glam all the time. Or maybe you've just lost your touch. Is there a white shade? No, not in this one. <gasps> Ooh, is there a brown? It's a neutral palette. There's a ton of different browns. Is there a highlighter? <sighs> There's shimmer shades, if that's what you're asking. That's not what he's asking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut, Shut up. up. Ah. I wanted to make a basic palette that you'd want to bring with you everywhere. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. Continue. Thank you. A palette part of your everyday routine. Like you wake up, you take your vitamins, you go to work. Not this again. Oh my God, look at his ass. I was saying, I worked really hard on this palette, you guys. I even painted the swatches on the front myself. Real original. I really think people are gonna want this in their collection. Yeah, if we were in 2016, maybe. I agree, I'm just not sister shook. I mean, this palette really has to sister slay. There isn't even a discount code. Will it even look good on camera? I cannot afford another me. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. It's not slay. I know, like it's a white shade, sister. That's stupid. You can always, maybe like, you can literally none of my friends would do that. Enough! All this criticism from you guys? You need your hair cut, you need your eyebrows cut, you two can't sing, you were a mistake, and you were discontinued. Hey. Look, I know it's not rainbow colors, and I know that a neutral palette isn't revolutionary, but after the paints, I really wanted our second launch to be a staple product. So here it is, the basic canvas, 24 beautiful neutral shades, mattes and shimmers, perfect for any makeup artist of any skill level. Because isn't the makeup that you guys do most just basic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, so I hope I don't get flagged for it. Whatever. I'm going to be so mad. If I get flagged for that video, I'm going to be so angry. Okay, let's talk about it. So this came out of nowhere. No one knew that this was coming. I found very interesting that he didn't like necessarily in the video like show the palette swatch it and before y'all get all upset or whatever this is not a pr package from james charles this actually is one of my favorite neutral palettes called the one by lawless not sponsored although i should be and the reason i like this palette is because it is talc free there was like i think like a couple months ago it's all about talc talc free everything talc free powder talc free palettes and this one just like it, came, it stuck out to me, and so I like it. I really do like this palette, this neutral palette. But you really can't go wrong with a neutral palette, a good neutral palette that has like just pigmentation and payoff and smooth, and let's not forget, melts like butter right into the skin. And so anyways, I like this palette because it is talc free. Okay, all that to say this, James Charles addressed that a lot of people were gonna say that him having a neutral palette was gonna be quite boring and not as exciting as his Morphe palette because he really did shoot himself in the foot or put his foot in his mouth whenever he said that the Morphe palette that he did was the best palette, is the only palette you would ever need. He's got every color in it. And he, you know, threw some digs at it. Apparently, let's just be honest, he has a brand, he wants to do a palette. I think that when it comes to PR, marketing, and branding, I think he's really good within fitting within his niche. And like, you know, the blank canvas, it made sense. Like, I get the gig, it makes sense, right? I don't necessarily know if people are gonna support it uh, based off um, like just some of his friends and things like that in, in that nature. Uh, we saw like a few influencers support it, but it very much is driven by um, user generated content. So people call it UGC. So, you know, if I were to pick up, I don't know, this lip gloss by Scandi right here. This is a lip plumper, uh, Scrandy, Scrandy right here. Uh, available in the TikTok shop, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm not getting sponsored. I'm not paid for this. 
user generated content is just someone who picks it up and just gives it an honest review or just talking about it honestly that's user generated content and i think that james is relying a lot on a lot of like ugc to further push his brand now what i've noticed is in the description he put on there that the palette was going to be sold on TikTok shop first and then the next day be available on his website, which is very similar to what Jeffree Star has done with uh, his recent last collaboration and uh, with Gothic Beach. And you know, it went on sale first on TikTok and the next day it was available on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm really am seeing that there is a big push for TikTok shop. I mean, I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, I have spent hundreds of dollars in the TikTok shop. It's right there in my face. There are people who are on live reviewing things and literally like I'm just swiping up and they're like, oh my God, check out this beautiful Swarovski crystal, uh, coffee mug, water bottle, whatever. And let me just show you. And then you can click right now and you can buy it. And if you buy it right now, it's 40% off. Wait, it just dropped to 80% off right now for the next five minutes. And I'm like, ah, and I just, I buy it. Next thing you know, here it is. I'm obsessed with the TikTok shop. And then I just, I end up buying stuff on there all the time. So when I saw that Jeffree Star and James Charles were really pushing TikTok shop, it's, it's, a, it's a big testament to where things are going. And I think that James Charles is very smart and has his finger on trends and he's heavy on TikTok. Now I would say Jeffree Star is even more heavier on it because like James is not venturing off into like the live and live battles and ranking system or anything like that. But I feel like, and this is just me, um, you know, I feel like this was a big disappointment to see James Charles go to YouTube with that two minute video showing the palette. I feel like it should have been more, I, I like the intro that I sh I've shown you and that he, he gave us, but I've wanted some swatches. This is what we're gonna get. Let me show you my favorite colors, like things like that. And here's a model. We're gonna go ahead and do this with her and you know, zhuzh it up and da 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 da, like, like all that stuff. I didn't get any of that. And I, I thought that was kind of interesting that that did not happen, okay? That's just, I, my opinion, I feel like that is just like, mm, I wanted that, but I didn't get that. So all that to say this is I think that the palette will do well. You know, if you look at current trends, what happened with the little uh, paints that he had, some of them sold out. I know there was always backlash and controversy with some of the shades not being like FTC approved or, you know, not, not letting, you know, some of the consumers know about the red dyes and the lakes and stuff like that, you know. But maybe it's a loophole because it's not necessarily an eyeshadow, it's more of a paint. So maybe there's that whole gymnastics of legal that goes involved. So maybe he didn't have to. But then again, we did see things that it was very eye-opening to see people like Tati Westbrook not support him when she has stated in, in a video that they were friends and everything was cool, but yet she, we've ever yet to see them associate or hang out or support e each other's brands. Like I see it both ways. I see it like Chanel. I see it courtside and I see it courtroom. With that being said, I feel like I can understand them having a working relationship. And so maybe their personal friendship is deteriorated, but maybe their professional relationship is still there. And so let's just say that James Charles and Tati Westbrook aren't, you know, friends anymore. That relationship has dissolved. Then I kind of felt like, well, you know, professionally he could support her and she could support his stuff and vice versa, but we don't see that happening either. So if anything, I'm, I'm quite shocked at the amount of influence that James Charles has that's not influencing the influencers to promote his stuff. I, I, I'm not saying that no one is because of course I've seen a lot of influencers do it, but I just thought I would see bigger names support James Charles Painted. Um, and all that to say this, I know a lot of people have their reservations about James Charles, and but from a like business standpoint, like congratulations, you know, you worked hard on this palette. He said it was like two years or something. So congrats on that. It's just like looking at it, I just felt like where was the full review, the video? He just gave us a teaser, a trailer, and available on a TikTok shop. Which then leads me to think, is James Charles painted, you know, a TikTok brand? Is it like, it went viral on TikTok, you know? And I think is if that's what's going on here. Because I'm not gonna say that James Charles has abandoned his whole entire audience on YouTube because he still obviously comes on every now and then. But I just, I don't know. It was very, I, I just wanted more. 
you know, I just wanted I wanted to see some of the swatches, right? Kudos to him. I hope he sells out and he does the you know does the best and ever and everything like that. And I think that James Charles really knew that he was going to get some criticism from the past James Charles. And I feel like James Charles is entering an era where he's trying to prove to people that he has moved on and changed from Hey Sisters and all of that. So we'll see. We'll see where this takes us. But all that to say this, let me know what you guys think about that James Charles drama. And I would, you know, I would love to see some of the people who who claim they support him, like Atana Mojo, really like get up there and really give it some swatches and reviews. But I don't know, even like a Michaela Nagura do like a full face of painted like you're not giving it a mention in a video you know and I've, I've always said that that relationship they claim they're friends but I feel like they're just more business associates because you know he did fly across the country to go to her wedding and all he got in return was a mention in one of her videos of her using his product and I'm like no girl you should have gave you should have given him a lot more than that like you're and is it because she didn't want to face backlash? Because James Charles is very controversial, you know? And so did it? Did she just didn't, didn't want to receive any backlash? So she put it at the end of one of her videos toward the very last product or something and give it a mention that way? Like, I just feel like that whole thing was shady. I, I really, really did. And then you have the opposite side of the spectrum when you have people online who are like, I don't like James Charles. I disavow James Charles. I'm never going to purchase anything from James Charles. And then you have that which is in, that group is growing and growing and they're met with backlash when they find out like, well, so many people of influence support James, like the Kardashians and Kris Jenner and things like that. And you're just kind of an and ABH and stuff like, and you're just kind of like, well, you know, I, they're met with like, like a wall almost, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be very interesting how things turn out with James Charles' painted brand and everything. He's, he's already shut down, you know, Sisters Apparel, but you know, I think that was a couple, maybe last month or something. But anyways, let me know what you think about all that in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Rich Lodge with the hottest celebrity using gossip.